Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, friends, to North Harrison Baptist Church Mid-Morning Manna. Glad you tuned in today. Hope you'll stay tuned. Share this with your friends. Make a comment. Hit like or angry or whatever you'd like to hit there. And uh, this week we're talking, we're in the book of Joshua, chapter number one. So if you want to get your Bible out, we'll be there pretty much all week. We'll jump around just a little bit. But Joshua chapter one, and I want you to think about this as we look at how God dealt with Joshua and gave him a plan for success. I, I want you to see that God has a plan for your success. God wants you to be a successful Christian. It's not, God did not put you here as, a, as one of his children, leave you here so that you could be a failure. God has a plan for your success. And I believe he gives us a pretty good outline of it right here in the book of Joshua and chapter number one. It says this, beginning in verse number one, now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise and go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. So God never asks us to do anything without his help. He gave Joshua a five-point plan for success and let me just give you point number one today on this Monday, uh, September, the, uh, September the 27th. And it says this, he said, God said, I want you to be clear in your direction. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to find out what God's plan is as we search the scripture, as we hear the word of God being preached and taught, and as God stirs our heart to show us how he wants us to live our life, the direction he wants us to go in, and he is very, very clear in this thing. So be clear in your direction. Make sure you're aiming at something. You're going somewhere. You're not just going to sit the rest of your life idly by waiting for God to pick you up and move you. He wants you to move. And again, look at verse 2 here in Joshua chapter 1. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise. He said, Joshua, don't just sit around and mourn for Moses. Moses is okay. Uh, he's, he's with me in heaven. But I want you to take your, my people and go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give them, even to the children of Israel, every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. He said, Joshua, I want you to rise up. Don't sit around. Don't wait. Just get up and do the will of God. When is the right time to do the will of God? Right now. When's the right time to head off in a direction right now? You say, but preacher, what if I have it wrong? What if I start moving? What if I'm misunderstood and I'm going in the wrong direction? I tell you what, why don't you just tell God you have that fear and then give him complete veto power in your life. So, okay, God, I'm going to get up. Here's what I believe you want me to do. And by faith, I'm going to head in that direction. Now, Lord, if I'm doing this thing wrong, if I'm going in the wrong direction, I'm giving you total veto power in my life. You just stop me, turn me around, guide me. You know, you, you, but you got to be moving for God to guide you. You know, you take the boat and set it out there in the water. Think about this. And, and you're sitting there and you're, not, and you're aiming in a certain direction, but you can't steer the boat unless the boat is moving. So the first thing you got to do is get the boat moving. Then you can then you can steer the boat. Reach back there, grab that that uh, rudder, and turn it whichever way yeah, that you want the boat to go. And you're in charge, and you can do that. But you got to get the boat moving before it'll before it'll go anywhere, and before you can change direction. God said, if you'll get moving, give me veto power, give me the handle to the rudder of your life. I'll guide you. I'll direct you. I'll show you where to go. God wants to be in charge and he wants you. And by the way, the safest and most productive, happiest place in the world is you in the center of God's will, go in the direction that he wants you to go. So be clear in your direction. Get started. Even if you start wrong, just say, Lord, you've got to show me now. I, and, and don't be afraid to change direction if that's God's will for your life. 
I, I've communicated with some people this week that they were in a certain place doing the will of God, thought it was perfect, and the doors just closed. And uh, they were pretty down and discouraged and heartbroken. And, and uh, I, I tried to encourage them by saying, listen, God has a plan and he's not finished with you yet. And maybe he has a better plan than you thought was the original plan. But keep that boat moving. Let him control and direct your life. Well, that's for today. Thank the Lord for his goodness to us. Let's pray together. We'll go with the closing song and uh, thank the Lord for how he's working in your life and my life. God, use us. Help us, Lord, to be clear in our direction. If we're going the wrong direction, turn us around. We want to do your will. Heavenly Father, thank you for how you've worked in our lives. Thank you that you've given us uh, the promises of the word of God, that you'll never leave us or forsake us. You'll be right there with us. You will guide us. You'll guide us with your eye. Oh, God, help us to believe you and to, and to get up and get busy. Let's arise and go. Oh, God, help us to do it. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.